Good afternoon. What's up, y'all? It's Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know what time it is. Time to give y'all a, a dose of that game because you only get one chance at life. But you get a lifetime to soak up all the game you need to make yourself a better person. So the topic of this video that I want to really get into would be let's get back to wanting a person and not needing a person when it comes to a relationship. A lot of times, especially in my era, due to the fact that a lot of us on a soul level were abandoned emotionally as children, we tend to get in relationships due to the needs that we have instead of wanting someone. So when you get in this relationship with anybody, it's basically based off of the needs of maybe not feeling wanted, maybe having low self-esteem, you know, certain things that you grow up with not getting. So when you get into a relationship with someone, automatically firsthand, like a person is going to show their true colors or maybe a mask of themselves. But if you're needing somebody when you're in a relationship with them, once the mask slips off, if it's not truly them, and they show red flags, you tend to stay in the relationship because of your lack of loving yourself entirely. Let's get back to fully loving who we are, no matter the differences, because the universe made us exactly how we are supposed to be. You get in a relationship with someone, you can have boundaries and requirements. And if that person does not meet those boundary, boundaries and requirements, you're satisfied enough in yourself to know, hey, I'm out of here, player. I could go find someone else that can give me the requirements I'm asking for. I don't have to settle in this relationship because of my need of feeling like I'm going to be unloved or feeling like you're the only person that's ever going to want to be with me or feeling like, you know, I don't have so much love inside myself that I can't get anyone else. No, we're not living like that no more. It's called boundaries, requirements. If you can't meet those things, I am going to leave and find someone else that can because I love myself enough to know that I do not deserve to be treated like that. Thereof, a feeling loved causes us to stick around far longer than we need to because we feel like we need someone to stick around us all the time, even though this person has showed you the brightest red flags that you could ever see. Stop doing that to yourselves. Stop sticking around when you didn't see the red flags because you don't want to be alone. Being alone could be really insightful to you, can really help you acknowledge and process what you really want out of life. But you cannot do that if you're constantly up under someone. If you break up out of a relationship with someone and then you hurry up and jump back in a relationship with somebody else in less than two weeks or a couple days, that's a lack thereof. Because you didn't even get time to process what may have made that relationship go sour because you too busy hopping already in another situation like thereof so if you don't feel confident being by yourself if you don't feel like you know you could be a boss on your own you need somebody for their money their love their time their affection that means at some point you need to stop put the brakes on something and figure out what is it that you're missing inside yourself because we're in a world now where we shouldn't need nobody. We should want them. Don't let looks fool you. Don't let them fool you. A person could look really good on the outside until you get close to them and figure out that the inside is a little bit more dirty than the outside. But what are you willing to tolerate? What are you willing to accept? If not, move on it's 2023 i am really getting upset with seeing anybody be in a relationship that they know is not healthy for them sometimes people have things they need to work on which means they can't do that if they're up under somebody all the time you cannot fix them that person has to work on their troubles 
and things they went through in their childhood alone. So it is okay to set up a boundary and let that person go. And a lot of times relationships don't work because nobody wants to look within and figure out where the unbalances are. Everybody just want to get with somebody, ooh, because they look good or they got money or they could do this and do that. It's a need, not a want. It's time to change the trajectory, people. Let's get with people because we want them. Their mind, body, and spirit all line up together with what you want. But you won't know that if you don't spend no time with yourself and you're constantly up under someone all the time. You don't know what your mind, body, and spirit wants or needs to be able to require that of someone else. So you have these physical aspects of yourself, like not having no money or needing support or you know needing somebody to take care of you to where you just be with anybody and you take the red flags because you don't want to have to figure out life on your own at the end of the day you were born by yourself and you're gonna die by yourself people have the op people have the opportunity to change at any moment if you keep going on in life relying on people to make you happy and satisfy you you will be greatly disappointed now is the time to focus on what your mind, body, and spirit needs so that you can require that of someone else and not need someone but want them. That's Deidre with One Shot Game. You know what it is.